Welcome to this Getting Started video, which introduces how you can view and use sample content that is automatically generated from uploaded data in the WebFocus Business User Edition. In this video, our sample content is generated from the Excel spreadsheet retail underscore data underscore extract dot xlsx, which is installed with the software and has been uploaded using the Upload Wizard. Once your data is uploaded and defined using the Upload Wizard, the What Would You Like To Do Next dialog box opens. When you get to this point in the workflow, it means that your uploaded file is now available for use in the WebFocus Business User Edition. To quickly create a sample set of analytical reports and charts based on this data that you can run or edit, click Automatically Generate Content from your data under Gain Insight. The Generating Content progress bar displays while your content is generating. Once your content has been generated, the Generating Content dialog box closes and your portal refreshes to display the sample analytics below the Getting Started domain in a folder called Retail Underscore Sales. Additionally, a sample dashboard called Initial Dashboard by Year opens as a new tab in the output area. This dashboard contains the following components. A ring pie chart that shows cost of goods by the top five product categories. A ring pie chart that shows gross profit by store region. A horizontal bar chart that shows revenue by the top 10 countries in sales. And an active report that shows revenue, cost of goods, gross profit, and quantity sold by product category in various regions for the selected year. Expand the retail underscore sales folder to view all of the reports and charts that have been created for you. Let's look more closely at some of the samples that have been created for you. Under retail underscore sales, expand analytics and double click Country Auto Drill Report. The output area refreshes and opens a new report. This report example shows how you can drill down through hierarchies if you have them in your data. Specifically, you can drill down from country to state and then state to city. Click a country name and then click Drill Down to State. The report output refreshes and displays the information for the state that you selected. Click a state name and then click Drill Down to City. The report output refreshes again and displays information for the city that you selected. You can also drill up in the hierarchy by selecting the city or state name and selecting the option to drill up. In the generated analytics, active reports are identified by the triangles at the top of each column. Active reports are interactive. You can sort the report, add filters and basic calculations, as well as create new charts and summary reports based on this data. Double-click Overview Active Report. Click the triangle next to Revenue. Notice the options that are available to you. Click Sort Descending. When your report refreshes, you can see that the Revenue column is sorting in descending order. You can continue to interact with your active reports to change the view of the data, connected or disconnected from the network. In addition to the reports that are generated, there are also many charts that are generated for you, based on the data that you uploaded. In the Resources tree, expand Revenue Reports. Double-click Store Name Revenue Bar Chart. The output area refreshes and displays the chart that you selected. In this example, you can view the top revenue listed by store name. If the report, chart, or dashboard that is generated for you is not exactly what you wanted, or you want to create a different view of your data, you can edit the item in Info Assist Plus. Right-click the item that you want to edit, and then click Edit. Info Assist Plus opens. By default, in InfoAssist Plus Design Mode, you work with the first 500 records in your database. In the Data pane, you can view all of the data fields that are available. In the Query pane, you can view the definition of your current query. You can view the full report by running while in InfoAssist Plus, or you can run it from the Resources tree in the portal. To change your query, for example if you decide that you want the bar chart to include gross profit as well as revenue, you can simply drag the gross profit measure from the data pane directly onto the chart canvas. Similarly, if you want gross profit to replace revenue, you could simply delete the revenue bar on your chart. To sort your bars in ascending revenue sequence instead of descending sequence, simply click a revenue bar and then click Up in the sort group on the ribbon. Once you've edited the report as desired, you can save it under a different name. Let's save this report as the new Product Revenue and Gross Profit chart and exit InfoAssist Plus. To learn more about how to use InfoAssist Plus, see the Getting Started video. Notice that the sample content is gray in color. 
This is because the generated content is private, which means it is accessible only to the person who created it. If you would like this content to be usable by other domain users, simply right-click it and click Publish. In addition to editing the sample content that is generated for you, you can also create a personal page of reports and charts, and select a different layout. For example, if you have charts that you view very often, you can add them to their own page. Click the New Page icon. A new tab called Page 3 and the Web Focus Resources panel open. This panel provides easy access to your content as you create a page. Right-click the Page 3 tab, click Page Layout, and then click Two Columns. This changes the page layout from the fluid canvas to a two-column layout. In the Web Focus Resources panel, expand Revenue Reports. Drag the new Product Revenue and Gross Profit bar chart you recently created to your new page. Now drag the Product Category Revenue Top 10 Pie Chart to your new page. Let's add a report to the page. In the Web Focus Resources panel, expand Analytics and drag Country Auto Drill Report to your page. With a few easy clicks, you have created your own personal page with customized content. Close the Web Focus Resources panel. To refresh the page at any time, right-click the Page 3 tab and click Refresh. You can also provide a unique name for your page, manually resize and arrange the reports and charts on the page, and change your page layout at any time. If you were to sign out of the Web Focus Business User Edition portal, this will be the first page that you see when you sign in again. For more detailed information about how you can use the Web Focus Business User Edition, access the online help or visit the Information Center. From the Information Center, you can access additional Getting Started resources, such as the Technical Library and Video Assist Technical Video Repository.